It's incredible that we have a choice in the way that we want to live life. That we ha- that we are direct participants in living an empowered life. And that this empowerment comes from educating ourselves in the true nature of our intelligence. Many of us, we have so much experience in what life looks like and feels like from the vantage of just being told who we are, what our nature is, how we should act, how we should look. All the woulda, coulda, shouldas of trying to live a life of some destination to reach called perfection. And I think for many of us, when we live this life of a life predicated based on people telling us who we are, then we see that we're in this constant loop of of trying to find perfection, feel good, look good, be successful. We have all of these, these markers and these definitions for what this human experience should be and what our human life should look like. But when we open ourselves up to actually being educated in how life is when we have the direct experience of everything as it is, what that really means, leaving everything as it is, recognizing that all of our moment to moment experience, all of the the data that flows for us moment to moment is nothing other than the dynamic energy of open intelligence where we can actually practically every day in our own walk of life really directly experience the power of this juncture of inseparability. Then then we see that we open up the confines of this life of striving for perfection to a life of total benefit. And not only just self-benefit, but qualities and activities that are opened up to the benefit of all. And for me, this is, this is the power of role modeling, the power of our community, the power of each one of us who have committed to really recognizing who we are, really recognizing that the nature of our moment to moment experience. We don't have to rely on what other people are telling us anymore. We, we, live a life where every moment we are being assured and affirmed and confirmed of the power of this perfect knowledge of inseparability. And so when we hear a metaphor like the color blue and the sky are inseparable, in the beginning we, we may have some sort of intellectual understanding of that. But soon, if we rely on the four mainstays of short moments, repeated many times until continuous, of choosing to be involved with the training media rather than other media, so really diving into the amazing gifts that are present on our website, all of the media, all of the books, all the resources, when we when we choose to attend training. Uh, formal trainings, like coming here or any of the trainings that we offer, when we gift ourselves the incredible gift of completing the 12 empowerments, and when we choose to rely on others who are making the same choice, you, our entire worldwide community, then we see that this metaphor takes on a much more powerful meaning to us in our everyday life to really understand that we don't have to define our moment to moment experiences anymore as being something, whether we label them as outrage or hatred or anger or insecurity or self being, feeling self uh, unworthy, feeling unworthy, feeling worthy, being happy, not being happy, being sad, not being sad and having all of these descriptive labels as some indicator of contrived activity. We can just let all that go now. 
we see, wow, we do have a choice and there is a different way for us to live life. And that way is by deeply resting in the flow of what is occurring for us moment to moment and recognizing that we aren't at the whim anymore of these descriptive labels. Now we feel the energy of these descriptions as our own beneficial potencies. That every time we choose to allow the data to be as it is, to just allow it to flow on by, to no longer describe it, no longer analyze it, indulge it, replace it, but just gain greater and greater comfort with knowing the data as it truly is, the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Every single time we choose that, we are actually role modeling the power of perfect knowledge. And so we, we take this evolutionary leap within ourselves first. And we see by this commitment to everything as it is, there's an organic shift to our potencies of body and speech and mind and the qualities and activities that emanate from this incredible commitment. And so then we, we go out in the world, so to speak, in the community, uh, and we, we just live our life. <laughs> We're just naturally showing up in life, empowered with this knowledge. And people begin to see a difference, just like we saw a difference. First, we saw the difference in ourselves, but we were supported by others that we saw this difference in. And I know for me, uh, I was immediately drawn to want to be with, with those people, to be with a, a community of people who were empowered to live life differently. And before I met the training, it was, it was, I was cons all consumed by this thought that <laughs> The things that I thought should be the way human life would look or feel were never, I could never find anybody who, who was walking the walk, so to speak, talking the talk. The, the two things never were congruent for me. And so it was just always a source of frustration for, for me. And I, I found that the walk and the talk were the same when I, when I met the training that I, I was seeing a community of people who were exhibiting the power of this truth. And so it was very uh, alluring, so to speak. <laughs> I was intrigued by it, and I, I really wanted to see that as my own direct experience. And then I realized that everything for that to happen was here in this powerful algorithm of the Four Mainstays that if I just chose the four mainstays as the platform for my life, that I would finally come back home, so to speak. I would be at home with myself. I would be at peace with myself. I would see that this powerful knowledge was within me, that my intelligence was something greater than what people were telling me it was, that I would have this direct experience from the power of my own circumstantial flow of data. And so I know that my experience that I'm speaking to is your experience too. That we have everything that we need in order to empower ourselves with this great knowledge. Our own direct circumstantial flow of data. It provides everything that we need to make this choice. And so the role modeling, it's so crucial because how else are, are, are these great evolutionary leaps to, to be made other than people who are pioneering the, the movement, the shift away from a disempowered way of living life to an exceptionally empowered way of living life? And then we see that our community is incredible in its display of gifts, strengths, and talents. That when our gifts, strengths, and talents are opened up to the benefit of all, for the benefit of all. Everything and anything is possible. That we just break through all glass ceilings of conventionality. We're no longer limited by anything people are telling us. We've expanded past the glass ceiling. We have this comprehensive level of intelligence that's all informing 
all-inclusive, already accomplished. And every time we choose to rest deeply in whatever the flow is, like right now, just to rest deeply, then we gain access to this incredible comprehensive intelligence. And in the beginning, that access might feel not stable. It might feel fluid, sometimes here, sometimes not here. But more and more through our commitment, we see that that, uh, the access, the doorway, the threshold is always open through short moments and the other mainstays. And so this is what a life of benefit looks like. We've opened up the confines of a life of striving for perfection to a life of complete benefit. And all of our qualities and activities are opened up in the same way. 